The unfoldable. <laughs> Maybe we should expect the unexpected from Gary Rogers. Access all areas today. It will be one to watch when race one of the V8 supercar season gets underway. But we have got a big lineup. The V8 Utes will be on track. The Dunlop series as well. And the Pocket Rockets are out there right now. The Aussie Racing Cars is our support commentator, Aaron Noonan. Matt, Aussie Racing Cars for their second race of the weekend on the streets of Adelaide. Cam McConville is using his Aussie race car calling. He's doing it all today. And Cam, we've got 34 of these Aussie Racing Cars set to be let loose. And Adrian Cottrell, champion in car number one, won race one yesterday. Therefore, starts from pole for this one. Yeah, he certainly does, Noons. And the, the racing is absolutely awesome with uh, the Aussie Racing Cars around here. And uh, also, look out for Darren Chamberlain. You'll see once we scroll through the grid, he's right at the very back, a heavy crack in that Orient, so he'll be quick coming through the field. Keep an eye on the Massini boys. They've got new backing from VIP Pet Foods. There's just about every category's got a VIP car in it somewhere. They just keep on coming. Tim Miles, a familiar name, former co-owner of the Tasman Motorsport he team. He loves it too. We can't there. get him out of these. He has a smile on his face all the time, as you would racing around the, the streets of Adelaide. You'll see them two wide, even three wide. And unlike other categories, they manage to get around the corner most of the time. Simon Smith starting a lot further back. He is one of the front runners. So from 29th on the grid, expect him to charge. Tom Drew is a local driver who's joined in the series, back from the United States to have a run. 34 cars. I don't know how we fit them all in. The good news is when we come back to the Clipsal 500, we'll get a race start. What a great sight, the Clipsal 500 Street Circuit and the FW1 Aussie Racing Cars. They've lined them up and they've got to go around the corner. There's that many of them. Adrian Cottrell will start from pole, the reigning champ on board, car number one, Peter Carr. They juked it out last year for the championship. Kyle Clues and Morris Bassini on the second row of the grid. Let's get racing. In 2012, Senna Chicane awaits. 34 cars go in. Camera Conville, how many come out? Well, uh, we'll wait and see, Nunes. I'm pretty confident. You know, you see a lot of the other categories slide and, and you know, lack grip for there on the first lap. But these cars, they're so nimble, they can put them everywhere. The bumps do affect them, but they recover very quickly because they are so light. It's a motorbike engine. You know, they weigh sort of five, 600 kilo mark. Like a, they're really cross between a, a Formula Ford and a go-kart. And you get some great onboard footage and that was riding with Travis Edwards in the 16 car, but it is Cottrell who leads the way. Car clues, Tyler Owen, who he finished equal on points in last year's championship with Cottrell, but lost on a countback by virtue of the last race result in Sydney. So he's oh. a real contender. And when you hit a curb in one of these, you know about it. Yeah, that one's just a little bit too big, but uh, Massini struggled in the VIP there, VIP Pet Foods entry. He's been a little bit slow on this first lap, lost oh, no, once, no, but no, oh, no, look no, at this. No, no, no. That was wild. And how nice was save. A move. That was a great save. That was a great move. Kyle Clues on the charge. Former series champ. Oh, one around in the background. Bit of uh, drift work. Oh, oh no. no. Hit the curb. And that's done more damage. So, obviously, turn nine. There was something going on there. There's Bassini up the inside. He actually lost out of that. He had a little bit of nose to tail contact, which lost him a little bit of momentum. And you really need a good run down the front straight off that final turn. Just hearing, Cam, that Trent Young and Tyler Owen, who sit fifth and sixth, have both been given a five second penalty for jumping the start. There's more carnage here at turn 14. You know how I said about all the cars going in the chicane and coming out? I should have said it about the first lap. Yeah, a little bit later on in the lap. In fact, that big slide. And a turn eight. Let's this, have a look. That, There's a couple Brendan, of them there. That was Brendan Pingle in the yellow car having the big sideways moment. And that was huge because it's still 160 k an hour corner speed for these cars, probably more by the exit. And what happens is when you lift on the exit of the corner, the rear of the car becomes unloaded. And uh, that was a big save. And this was down the tail of the field, a little further on the lap. Simon Smith up the inside in car 95, putting a move. Was there a lean? Was there a touch? Adam Sharp. There certainly was afterwards, oh, I'll give you the no. tip. But uh, I think he might have just lost it on his own on, on the exit there. Let's have a look. He's again. on the outside. Yep. Not a lot of grip out there. Get on the gas too early. And uh, bang. Oh, Whoa. nearly went over. The curb stopped him going over in the end. That was nasty stuff. Darren Chamberlain 
He's not having a good weekend, but back to the front. It is on. You can't get away in Aussie racing cars. Adrian Cottrell, the reigning champ, under fire from Kyle Clues, the former champ. Peter Carr's there. Morris Massini. Remember that Owen and Young are there behind them, but plus five seconds onto them for jumping the star. It's a good way of doing it. They've had a look at the rules this season with a lot of the support categories. Rather than issuing a drive-through, which just ruins your race, they add the five seconds to your race time at the end. How early he's back on the throttle there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bit of a miss shift, and he actually shook his head. <laughs> it cost him three car lengths. And he just set the fastest lap of the race, a 35-5. Let's just have a stop and a listen. Double wave yellows, car down the escape road. This is a hot lap in an Aussie racing car. The weaving going on up ahead is unbelievable, trying to shake the toe into turn eight. Listen here. 100% throttle through turn eight. Absolutely flat to the floor. That'd be, other than an open wheel, a Formula 3 car, there wouldn't be too many categories that you could get away with that awesome stuff. Oh, Cottrell's wide. He's given away the lead. Clues has got him. And Carr's trying to get around as well. He gets it done. Blink and bang, two spots out the window. Lost a lot of speed on the exit. And the interesting thing for me, just listening to that on board, was just how early they pick up the throttle. There's no coast time. It's one or the other. Brake and straight back on the gas to try and keep that momentum going. This is the replay on the exit, and that is why he had two off the deck. No wonder he was going slow. You need four on the ground. You just cannot get away with that much curve. That, that inside curve at turn nine is quite high, but in most cars, you wouldn't even feel them. Look at this. Absolutely out of control through the turn one, two chicane. And we should point out too that we've often said, have a look at the rear stepping out under the bumps in a turn four. There's actually a new option engine in this category now. There's a water cooled Yamaha engine, and some are stuck with the air cooled engine. It's a mixture between all these guys at the front. It doesn't seem to matter what they're running with. They're all competitive, they're all in it. Cottrell's on the inside. Has he got it done? He does. And what that does is it gets Kyle Blues a little bit of a breathing room. Well, Kyle Clues is, is stuck with the air-cooled engine, so the Yamaha upgrade water-cooled. Certainly, if you're in traffic, we, know, we normally have you know mid mid 30s, low 30s here in Adelaide, but it's uh, about 10 degrees cooler, so it shouldn't be a problem for the air-cooled engines this weekend. Turn eight, there comes a the point. Well, you just have to lift. You have to give it away. And you know about that. You were in a scrap, I remember, with Paul Dumbro on you there. I think that's uh, as a result of our huge shunt. They changed the rules there. That uh, well, it's not so much a rule. It's a bit of a uh, driver agreement that impossible to go through there too wide. But I reckon an Aussie race car could challenge that. <laughs> Full <laughs> throttle, side by side. They seem to be three wide everywhere else. Have a look at this run through the chicane. Don't forget the Aussies are on the moment, but the V8s are coming up soon. How about this, though? It's so hard to keep a track of everything that goes on and to talk about too much else because just as you go to do so, it's still on. Clues and Cottrell, they lead the way. Of course, today is the first race in the V8 Supercars Championship, the Clipsal 500. But for the moment, the Aussie racing cars turning it on. The top two have cleared away from Peter Carr, who won the most races last year but had a bad round at Phillip Island, and that really killed off his championship chances. Morris Mussini's going with them. Tyler Owen next, then Trent Young. Brendan Pingle is seventh. He was Rookie of the Year last year. Hey, ha how about this? Simon Smith, remember I spoke about him at the start? He started 29th. He's ninth. Well, I hope I can do that uh, later <laughs> on. I've got to start right at the back. But I'd say Kyle Clues, he's been in this category for some time. So you have to say he, he and Carr, they're, they're certainly the most experienced out of this top five. Always in the top top three or four, Kyle Clues. Cottrell to the inside at turn eight. It gets to a point where whoever's got the nose in front just before there gets right of way. But it sets up the overtake for turn nine and Clues is going for it. Cottrell covers. Look how deep they're going. And that, you notice there too, slight change in pavement, resurfacing from the turn nine hairpin. And this takes us back into Victoria Park, the race course section, as we call it. Oh, Cottrell, almost in the fence. Don't tell me he's not trying hard. 
I think you'd get out seven laps in one of these. Absolutely exhausted because <laughs> they're just wringing the neck of the cars. Look at them dancing around under brakes. The rear of the car clearly unweighted. And even when they lock a front, they don't seem to do a lot of damage or to their to their lap pace because the car's so light. That time around car, 135-33. Fastest man on the road. These two keep on going. Cottrell and Carr, top four, clearing away. Massini's caught up too, so this has worked well for him. In the older body shape, you can see. Yeah, that's the AU Falcon body shape. There's the Falcon, there's the Commodore, there's the Toyota as well. How's, how's Kyle Clues at turn one? Nice bit opposite lock going on there. That's how you go fast. How's Cottrell? His thing was over the curb as well. He leads the way. This is ripper stuff. Off the exit curb, turn seven. Now, all tucking in, looking for that slipstream. Motorcycle gearbox, Yamaha engine, about 125 horsepower. So the power to weight ratio is unbelievable. And you'll get a big toe too on the exit here and be looking to try and pull out of the draft which you can see them all blocking the inside line now. It's a, the business end, two laps to go. It's fair game, full defensive driving going on. Just love watching them throw these cars around. And that's why we've seen the odd V8 supercar driver or drivers come from other categories, step into these cars. They're not winning the races because they're quite a different car to drive. Yeah, they're big, very much like a, a sticky tie go-kart or a you know, high-speed shifter kart or something. I'd imagine Jack Perkins, uh, we saw do a few races in this category last year, enjoyed his time. Side by side into turn one. Oh, oh there's a touch. There. Oh, boy, settle it down. Last lap, Peter Carr jumps to second, Cole Clues jumps the chicane, and Adrian Cottrell jumps away. Very aggressive stuff. It's even in Aussie race car, tricky to go through turn one, two, side by side. Not so much turn four. They'll probably carry this on through five. And then, who's going to come off best? Mercedes perfectly placed to fill a gap if it opens here. Cottrell's got away though. They'll have a real drama catching him on this last lap. This was when we were on board. This was the touch into the chicane. Oh. Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> Chasing the side draft. It's all going to be on at turn nine. There'll and I think many. you're right, Massini's going to be well placed here. Maybe even a little bit too close, So He needs to take advantage of the toe. Lost a bit of time on the exit because he was a little too close on the way into turn eight. Car's in the gap. Clues has got it dancing around on the rear brake. But the Toyota's up the inside, through to second. But the problem is you think, oh, I've got the spot. I've worked hard. Oh, he's attacking me again. You just can't get away and you can't rest. It's worked that well, though, for Cottrell. He's put the head down on the last lap, got that breather. But this, there's still one more corner to go here. Last chance. He's going for it. He's sneaking into the gap. Car hangs wide. He's going to get him, too. They can't get to Cottrell. The young gun from South Australia picks up. His second race win of the weekend. Car grabs second. Clues is third. Messini is fourth. Young crosses the line in fifth. But remember, that five-second penalty will come into effect. So Brendan Pingle will jump up to position five. Um, I was going to write down good race Aussie racing cars, but we do that every time. That was, we do. That was another seven-lap classic. It was interesting. You know, Clues actually lost. He got passed on the last turn and then lost the, uh, lost the momentum to the line, so back to P3 for him. Recapping the results, Tyler Owen seventh on the road, Simon Smith 29th to eighth, Mark Clements and Craig Woods rounded out the top 10. After the break, Cam's getting in the Utes, the V8 Ute boys will be let loose in Adelaide.